Hello everyone and welcome back to Liberty Park Music for another Piano Etudes lesson. As you advance into learning more repertoire, you'll start to encounter different ways of shaping notes and musical phrases into different kinds of musical gestures. You can think of musical gestures as being the ways in which we shape the notes or the phrases, often in a very visually distinct way on the page. Now, in many ways, musical gestures are really what give a lot of music its most notable characteristics. A lot of music is actually made up of the same basic core material, so how we are able to shape that material through different ways of phrasing notes, um, different musical gestures, is often how we're able to create musically distinct pieces, or I should say pieces that sound musically distinct from one another. So, for this lesson, we're going to look at a short etude by Ludwig Scheidt to give us some examples of this. This piece is a very clear 16 bars in length, no pickup measures or even repeat markings, though obviously quite a lot of repetition. So let's just dive in and browse amongst the gesticulatory offerings. Those offerings don't come much easier than in these first few measures. Um, up the five finger position in the left hand and straight back down in the right. As with pretty much everything in these lessons, we're not going to take the apparent ease of these gestures as an excuse to lay back and not pay attention. Be focusing on your legato, um, how easily each finger is passing on the movement to the next, and even um, how clean the notes are in comparison to one another. This is also a good simple opportunity to work on phrase shape. They're straight lines. You'll notice that I tend to like um, to phrase shape them with a bit of a crescendo like this. As opposed to something more even like this. Hopefully you can tell a little bit of the difference there. However you decide to do it, make sure you're playing consciously. That is, make sure when you're building the movement into your hands, you're really thinking about how you're playing those notes. So our second gesture is these repeated intervals between measures three and four. These are actually chords, but what kind of chords they are is really not important. You don't need to know that to play the piece well. But quite obviously, this is a very different movement from our first gesture. Instead of nice flowing lines, we have these staccato repeats. And it'll probably feel a little awkward transitioning between the two movements until you're a bit practiced with them. So try to keep these nice and clean. I recommend a blend of loosely locking your hand into position and letting it have a little bounce so that it's not tight like this. So something like this. Hopefully you can see the little bit of bounce and yet at the same time my hands are retaining their structure that makes it easier. Now once you've identified and worked on the movements of the different gestures, you'll be ready to put them together. Thanks for watching this lesson from Liberty Park Music. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something from it, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it around. Let your friends and family check it out too. If you want to find more lessons like this or explore other piano-related topics, please come visit us at libertyparkmusic.com. We have full piano courses ranging from beginner to more advanced levels, and everything is online and streaming 24-7 so that you can design your music learning around your schedule and learn in the comfort of your own home from a talented roster of professional teachers and musicians. Come check us out.